Rush Duel is a fast-paced spin-off game of Yu-Gi-Oh! where you can summon as many monsters as you want and draw up to 5 cards each turn. In this series, me and the Dr. Alex progress through each Rush Duel product release and build decks with whatever cards were available at that time. We have been drafting characters from the Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's anime and have exclusive access to those characters' boss monsters, and will continue to draft characters from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush series. Join us as we continue to battle it out in this series, Rush Duel Character Draft. Oblivion of the Flash was released May 13th, 2023, and introduces support for spellcasters, dragons, machines, sea serpents, and both light and dark galaxy. It also introduces a new archetype to Rush, the Monarchs. Since the Monarchs are a mix of Cybers and Galaxy monsters, with a bit of thunder sprinkled in, Alex will be taking them along with the Dragons, Sea Serpents and Galaxy monsters, which leaves me with Spellcasters and Machines. So this is the deck we're bringing to today's game. This is Celeb Rose or Light Spellcasters. So, it's an interesting deck. It is basically a fusion deck that is built around the two new fusion monsters, Celebro's Luxury Magicians and Celebro's Fabulous Magician. So, these fusion monsters are pretty interesting. So, Luxury Magicians is a 3200 attack monster that for no requirement can special summon a level 9 or lower light attribute spellcaster monster from your graveyard to your field face at defense position. Then, if this card is equipped with an equip spell, it can make two attacks on monsters, which is really, really good. The other monster is Fabulous Magician, which we can send one card from my hand to the graveyard, destroy one face at monster in your opponent's field, then you can add an equip spell from your graveyard to your hand. But basically, Fabulous Magician is generally really good if you don't actually have access to your equip spell and you need to get it, otherwise Luxury Magicians is generally the go-to. The Luxury Magicians is an interesting one because we can special summon a card from the graveyard and it's level 9 or lower. Now, funnily enough, Fabulous Magician is level 9, so if we summon Fabulous Magician first, we can bring it back with Luxury Magicians. The deck is trying to turbo all of your deck into your graveyard as quickly as possible, and then use various bits and pieces to pick things out of your graveyard to facilitate your fusion summons. If we get Celebro's Witch, we can discard a card, bring back Magician, so we just want Magician in the graveyard as quickly as possible, and then we can basically facilitate this fusion strategy. Even if we can't get to the fusion strategy, we can use Death Wand, which makes our monster immune to destruction effects, which is really good. If Alex specifically has to attack over our monsters, then that's going to really dampen his ability to get to us. The rest of this deck is all basically consistency cards, and then Dark Liberation for protection, because why would you not play three Mirror Force if you can? And the Magic Cylinder is in here just in case. So for the side deck, we have the Joint Tech Rex, in case we feel like we really need to deal with Alex's back row, because this deck is a little bit light on the old back row removal. We're on two Destroyer Dragon Sorcerers, in case again we feel we need the protection, and we want to recycle Dark Revelation. Mirage Dragon, because we're not actually on a Legend Monster, because we didn't really find space. Mirage Dragon should probably be in the main, but it's fine in the side for now. We are on Talismanic Seal Array in case we run into Maximums. We are the Ship of the Seven Treasures because we do play some level 7 or higher. It's just this deck is very tight for space. We have two Magical Stream because, again, we need more back row hate sometimes. Magical Stone Excavation. This was in the main for a bit, but after testing, I found that I never really used it. So we're leaving it in the side for now. We are on three traditional attacks. This is really good into Seas Serpent Maximum to stop them from getting off their combo. And then Torrential Tribute for a similar reason. So this is the deck. We're feeling pretty confident in this. This seems like it can be an okay strategy, if not a little bit peace reliant. Let's fire it in and see what Alex has got for us. So, new set. Very exciting. Um, I want to say more exciting for you because you have a lot more options from this set, but I get a lot of options specifically for like spellcasters and like a little bit for machine and a little bit for a few others like sprinkled here and there. And I really like spellcasters. Obviously, I know you don't like playing against spellcasters too much um but you know you you really like your dragons and i have to play against them a lot so it's only fair you have to play against spellcasters a lot as well <laughs> it's not specifically spellcasters but the the in-house uh mirror force <laughs> well you know just play anti mirror force cards right you know at, at this point as well it's a bit so everyone was playing Mirror Force, and now I feel like everyone's playing Magic Cylinder, and a few people are playing Mirror Force, but a lot of the like really good legends are still stuff that deals with it, if you know what I mean, like um, Mirage Dragon, Pitch Black Warwolf, uh, people are still using Abyss Soldier, uh, Jinzo is a popular one, just stuff to just kind of say, please, no, no Mirror Force me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, I imagine you're going to have to at least side deck um, some anti mirror force tech, right? Whether it's fuck with my graveyard, whether it's deal with my back row, whether it's stop traps in the battle phase, I'm gonna imagine you're gonna have something in the in the realm of that. 
We'll, uh, we'll have to see what you've actually built. Um, again, we don't really want to give away what we're both playing. Uh, so shall we just fire straight on in and just see what we're on? Yeah. Because especially for you, you have you have so many options. I mean, you could be on Dark Galaxy. You could be on Light Galaxy. Uh, does this guy deck want to go first? I think I'll go second. Um, Ooh. twelve cards in the uh, <laughs> the old <laughs> the old extra deck over there. <laughs> yep. Uh, so probably Light or Dark Galaxy. Unless it's a big bluff. It is Dark Galaxy. Okay, okay. Got Requiem out. Oh, but gold. Two back rows as well. Okay, mm what are we doing with this hand? We have a couple of options before us. I think I'll start by normal summoning Elegant Aurum Avian. Mm hmm. So I activate its effect, I can now send a card from my hand to grave to draw a card. That is probably a good draw. Mm, it's tricky. Alright, I'm going to summon out my Braid Blade Reader. So I can send a light attribute spellcaster, type monster, or a spell card from my hand to the graveyard, send top three cards of my deck to the graveyard. If a light attribute spellcaster is among the cards sent, you can add one equipped spell from your graveyard to your hand. Obviously I don't have any in there at the moment, you never know, we might get one in a sec. Mm -hmm. I've discarded my Celebros Magician, and we have disc and we milled Celebros, my Charis Magic Elegant Change, and Graceful Charity, my Legend. Which just kind of sucked we lost the Legend, but what can you do, eh? I think I'm going to Tribute Set, and then Set okay. a Monster. Pass. Unfortunately, uh, Requiem specifically is good anti-light card, and uh, you might have noticed that uh, there's a bit of a theme going on with my deck. Lights. <laughs> And that must yeah, be terrifying, yeah. staring down. Elegant Avram Avian. And his little hat. That this. Equip this. Okay, come and show by spell effects. Activate Requiem. Well, I guess the other equip. Uh, okay, so yeah, let me keep my guy. tribute monster. See if that comes back to bite you or not. Ooh, maybe not, looking at this hand. Right, I guess we'll go for it though. So I'm going to summon out Magic Mirror Youth. We'll activate the effect. I'll take a card from my hand and just kind of get rid of it for now. So we will get rid of this. Now we'll grab out... Right, we'll take back Avian. Then... I'm going to Tribute 2. And summon out my Celeb Rose Magician. I can send a quick spell from my field to the graveyard to destroy one face at level 8 or lower monster on your opponent's field. Then if I have three or more spell cards in my graveyard, it gains 700 attack. Next up, we'll summon out our avian. Fire of its effect. Pitch to draw. We will then activate our magic scepter. We'll boost up our Celebro's magician. Because, hmm. unfortunately, uh, we're at a bit of a stalemate here. So I can't just use Celebro's magician to uh, just kind of attack over you. I guess I can use its effect though to send this, pop this, gain a little attack boost, we'll set. Then we'll just go battle here I think. I'll see if we can get over this. And then we'll get over this. So we've got rid of your Kyrie and Globule lives. Okay. Right, we'll pass mm -hmm. on this. Oh, that's Universe Storm, we thought we might have that. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, I, I, realistically, when we only have one set, we're not expecting it to survive. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'd feel a lot more confident if we had three back row. And then I'd just uh, curse at you when you uh, hit it anyway. Yeah. Set. 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 Okay. Draw for turn. I guess I will... Start by using my avian, pitching youth to draw a card. That is a very interesting draw. Okay, we're going to tribute two and summon out Joint Tech Rex. Oh, okay. Fire of his effect. I'm going to shuffle some cards back into my deck. Yes, we'll shuffle these three back. Then we're going to take a peek at this one. Pop it. Nice. 
Next up, I suppose I will summon out my Raid Blade Reader once again. We'll activate its effect. We'll pitch, mill, and then add an equip spell back to my hand. What do we have left in here now? So we just milled that, that, that. Okay. Guess we will activate and equip to our Celebrose Magician, making it immune to destruction. Set to back row. Go to the battle phase. We'll see if we can't clean up some of this stuff. I think we're still going to get rid of this. And I don't think I'm feeling bold enough to attack you with my 300 <laughs> attack monster. Uh, let's see. Put, put, put the parachute gone, eh? Okay. Activate Universe Storm. Ah, oh, how did you get rid of my protection? Because uh, I'm going to activate Dark Hole. Yeah, I mean, you're on Dark Galaxy. We knew Dark Hole was coming at some point. Normal summon out. Hell Rider. Let's okay. Put another back row. Um, I think we are going to just deal with this. Ooh. I think we just straight up just do not want to be fucking with that in any way, shape, or form. Let's see what we get. These are cards. Hello. What do we want to do with them, though, is the question. Alright, I will normal summon out Legend Magician. I'm gonna fire off the effect. We will send Legend Magician. Next up, we're going to tribute to summon out Celeb Rose Witch. I'll activate Celeb Rose Witch effect, and I will discard Raid Blade Reader to bring back Celeb Rose Magician. I will straight activate Fusion. All right, we're going to fuse these two together and make our. Celeb Rose Luxury Magicians. So, requirement none. Special summon level 9 or light attribute spell cast elements from a graveyard to your field face up defense position. Then, this card, if this card is equipped with an equip spell, it can attack two monsters this turn. Fortunately, it does not have an equip okay. spell. But we can still use the effect to bring back Rose Witch. We'll then activate Rose Witch effect, itch, and bring back Rose Magician. Go to battle, see if we can't get in with Rose Magician, and then see if we can't get in with Luxury Magician. We'll mm -hmm. pass on that. Logisticos. Two boys. I remember there's two low levels that fuse together, and I do not remember which ones they are, but I think one of them is Profit? Yeah, Profit and... Um... Hellrider. Hellrider, okay. Oh, I guess the legend. Ah, oh. there it is, the anti-mirror force tech. <laughs> uh, okay, I think I have to stop this, right? Otherwise, I think oh, I just lose. Oh, goddammit. Well, there's always another one, Alex. There's always another one. Uh, uh, that's game, then, because i got nothing. Yeah, I was looking at um your graveyard, and obviously there's a lot of spells in there. I assume because you've got all of the equip spells there just aren't that many traps i obviously i assume you're still on traps and especially we haven't seen your legend trap yet so i was obviously always scared of like am i gonna get mirror forced am i gonna get <laughs> magic cylindered i have I traps i just need you not to wipe my board <laughs> <laughs> ah you have traps that need monsters i see i see okay well let's see if we can use them in game two i'm gonna go second okie dokie well, we have cards. I will summon Legend Magician. Activate Legend Magician effect. We will just send Youth Brave, I think. Then we'll summon out my Braid Blade Reader. Activate its effect. I think here I'm going to send Elegant Change. Got some more cards in the graveyard. Right now, the question is how fancy do we get here? Probably don't need to get very. I'll just tribute both and summon out Celeb Rose Magician. We'll set a background pass. Mm hmm. Set. 
Spellcaster's weakness seems to carry over to this deck, uh, which is a <laughs> end on 2100 attack. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately I can't get over that. Excellent. Those are cards. Are they good cards? Uh, okay, I will start by activating Charis Magic Elegant Change. I will discard my Charis Magic Scepter Death Wand, draw two. Next up, I guess I'll fire off Magical Stream and pop the back row. Was just a bluff in your hand. I guess we will summon out Celeb Rose Mage, activate its effect, which is if I have Magician or an Equip Spell in my graveyard, and then normal summon it, I can take back a Fusion or Death Wand back to my hands. So I'll take back Death Wand. Next up, Graceful Charity. If we get anything good here. Ugh. Definitely getting rid of that. Okay, we'll get rid of these. Next up, we're going to summon out my Braid Blade Reader. We'll activate its effect. We'll discard our death wand once again, but it's fine because using Reader's Effect, I can add it back to my hand again. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, we just sent a lot of okay cards to the graveyard, which ain't great. But it's also not terrible, right? So we will tribute to and summon out another Celebros Magician. I think we are just going to set a big pile of back row, go to battle, and just swing. All those plates that were spun got me a second 2100 attack monster, and I'll pass the turn. <laughs> <laughs> but now, you, how will you hit my three mirror forces and magic cylinder? Yes. How oh, indeed. Dark Prophet. Okay. New no, guy. Oh, here he is. Okay. If your opponent's two monsters in the field, which I do. And the top three cards will be decked to the graveyard. A dark Gallic Catch Monster Man card sent. This card can attack up to that many times this turn. Also, if the card sent are three dark galaxy monsters, you can destroy all face at level eight or lower monsters on your opponent's field. Okay, that's pretty gross. So if you get lucky, you wipe my whole board and then get to just slap me directly. Don't at all. <laughs> spells. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Well. Well. Pitch Black of War Wolf. But my traps are. <laughs> My traps. <laughs> uh, let's see what we get here. Uh, these are cards. We'll start with this. Legend Magician. Activate Legend Magician. One, two, three. We will get rid of Legend Magician. Then, I will summon out Celeb Rose Sorcerer. Using its effect, I can send three face-up light attribute spellcaster monsters on my field to the graveyard to summon a light attribute spellcaster with 2500 attack or less from my graveyard. Then I can set a uh, equip spell from the grave. Unfortunately, I don't have room to set an equip spell. But I can use it to just cheat out to the board. Rose Witch. Mm -hmm. I can then use her effect to discard a card from my hand and bring back Magician. Which is everything I need to perform a fusion summon. So I guess I'm going to be making Luxury Magicians once again. Next up, we're going to give it a little Death Wand. We can then activate its effect. Bring back uh, Rose Witch. We can then activate Rose Witch's effect. Discard Fusion to bring back Celebro's Magician. And then fusion again! Oh but boy. this time, we're making the other fusion. Which is Celebro's Fabulous Magician. So I can send one card from my hand to the graveyard, destroy one face of monster in field, then you can add an equip spell card from your graveyard to your hand. Now, do I have any other equip spell in my graveyard? I don't! Can't do it if I wanted to! We're all set. We will then go to battle. I will attack over your Chirosaur. Uh, unfortunately, one of my monsters will be saved. Yeah, and I have to... Get rid of one. Oh, she can still attack more than once? Oh. Yeah, she attacks twice if I have a quick spell when I bring something <laughs> back. Yeah. We're passing that. I don't know what I do against the stack. If I don't draw... Don't draw a river. Uh... I don't know if you have a way to get over 42, but she has no combat protection. How big would you get if I do this? 
The other problem is obviously the back row. So if you have a, uh, <laughs> a way to pop it, that would be probably good. Okay, so I have a light. So this will go up to 31 at the moment. Risky. But my only play is to just hope this is bigger than 42. No, it isn't. Oh, I forgot about the other effect where it gets um, boosted for everything else. Um, well, let's not waste. Nah, I'm just gonna hit that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you want to play game three? That's rough. I don't know because I don't know if it's gonna be any different. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what's in your deck. I've uh, I haven't like seen too much of the Dark Galaxy, so I don't know if you they have the outs. In uh, When I was doing some testing with this, though, I found that very rarely did I actually get a fusion monster equipped with the equip spell. <laughs> All the time, like, I would win just by using the regular Celebros Magician, sticking an equip spell on it and trying to beat people in the face with it. Because um, the Light Spellcaster deck is, it's, it's ironically not very consistent, which is a weird thing, because it, it's it, you, you need several pieces, right? You need... Ideally, you want to fill up the graveyard, which when that happens, great, right? But you need effectively the big card in the graveyard, the Celebro's Magician. You need the Celebro Mage, ideally in your hand. You then need another Light Monster to discard. You also need Fusion, and you need the Equip Spell. So it's kind of like five very specific things need to happen in order to like do what the deck wants to do. But obviously, as you can see here, when that comes off, it's great. Right? It just, you know, you have a giant monster that's nigh indestructible and it's fantastic. But if that exactly doesn't unfold like that, the deck just kind of goes, well, I have a 2500 attacker, I guess. <laughs> I guess yeah. that's something. Um, so what were you specifically on here? You were on the the new big boss monster. What was his name? Tri Triasaur? Trisail? Playing the new... You had the uh, the equip spells. You had, I assume, you were on fusion to make the new fusion. Yeah. I, oh yeah, yeah there's, there's one fusion you're giving. I was gonna say, I just I don't remember like seeing the card fusion, but no, there it is. It's right there, <laughs> staring me in the face. <laughs> yeah, I mean, again, this the deck you've got, the list I'm looking at here looks looks good, right? Like, you got, I, you've even got more traps than I thought you'd have at five. You've got um. Decent monsters all around. Yeah, I think um, it was a combination of me getting a little bit lucky and you getting a little bit unlucky, really. I think if you yeah. are able to stick one of your boss monsters, you probably just get to kind of run away with it. Or if you get like multiple equips. I think that's the, the main difference between these decks is that I have a lot of filtering. So I can kind of just get through my deck and fill up my graveyard really, really quickly. Yeah, it was a still, a, still an alright one. So yeah, GG, buddy. GG.